Sean Foyt joins me now to discuss Christian musician and founder of Let Us Worship. Sean, thanks so much for being with us today. It's great to have you. Yeah, honored to be on. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, Sean, I just think it's so unbelievably disturbing that we're seeing bills like this throughout the nation now. It's just almost like everyone has forgotten about parental guidance. And I don't really care how far left someone leans. I want to know, how can any parent actually condone what's happening here? Yeah, I mean, it, this, is, this represents, like, total state control over the child. Yeah. This is what this is really about. Does the state have control of the child or do the parents have control? And, you know, um, I love Washington State. There's some great folks up there. I was actually the number one COVID violator uh, <laughs> because of Let Us Worship in the state. So I'm number one on the governor's list. Um, having said that, um, this is not something that the people up there want. I don't believe it. I don't believe this is I believe this is an evil demonic agenda. It's, you know, one of those Isaiah 5-2 moments, you know, woe to them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Um, this is one of those things. And, you know, I, I, I really believe these kinds of bills are going to backfire tremendously, just like what we saw in Virginia, where parents rose up and, and turned that state from blue to red. I think we're going to continue to see that. The more that they push... Government control, perversion of our children. I mean, I'm a, I'm a father of four. I am horrified by this. Um, and I'm going to do everything in my power to stand up in that state against this evil legislation. Well, God bless you for doing that. We need more of that everywhere. And thankfully, uh, major people like Elon Musk, for example, are speaking out. I think he gets it. He's now tweeting, quote, any parent or doctor who sterilizes a child before they're a consenting adult should go to prison for life. Sean, what do you make of this? I mean, obviously, this is just common sense to me, yeah. but are you happy to be seeing someone like Elon Musk finally speaking what so yeah, desperately needs I, to be said? I mean, a guy that doesn't label himself as a conservative, a guy that doesn't label himself as a Republican. I mean, this is just a normal guy. He's like, hey, this should be common knowledge. And I love that he's speaking so freely because it should be. He's absolutely right. Um, any parent that forces their child, and the thing is, they're, they're, they're forcing this out of their own ego and their own will to look like they're these cool parents, you know, that are, that are, that are transitioning their kids. And the kids have to live their entire life with this messed up body that their parents are inflicting. I mean, it's completely evil. It is completely evil. We need to call it what it is. We need to rise up against this. And honestly, we need to make politicians across America, on the federal level, on the state level, on the city level, we need to make them decide where they are on this issue. I believe that's going to be important in the days and months to come. Yeah, I think it's absolutely critical. Uh, I, I just think it's sad because there's still so many brainwashed people out there falling victim to this liberal cult. And, and I think those people would say that there's a rise in children claiming they're trans because they finally feel safe enough to come out. But it's not true. That's not what's happening. It's because it's being normalized in our mainstream culture now. And it's, it's going so far to the fact that we're seeing it in every facet of life. I mean, you know better than anyone. You were at Disney in Burbank headquarters protesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now this, this <clears throat> actress, who's a popular Disney actress, I guess she's a comedian, saying that there needs to be a trans Disney prince or princess. So it's just seemingly appearing in every waking aspect of our lives. They're clearly targeting children. Uh, what do you make of all of that? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I have a lot of jobs and a lot of things that I'm a part of and a lot of initiatives I'm doing. However, being a parent and, and stewarding four little human beings is one of the greatest gifts. You know, it says in the Bible that children are a gift from the Lord. And, you know, I, there is massive judgment that's going to come upon people that do not steward their children and preserve their innocence. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to 